Wanna be in the know? Tune to the show. Start a new day now in your zone. Touching the work and career. Ends up in the play zone. Take luck to entertain. Inspire to make you feel at home. And it's all about you. It's all about you. New day. Keep watching New, New Day. Day. I'm a princess by birth. The creative designer of the Potter's signature. I went to school like every other person did. I, my first degree was in political science, then later on I went to read law on my own. Initially, I was in a paid employment, and then of course I withdrew when the kids started growing, and then I went into self-employment. A year ago, I went into real estate business then, and um, after a while, I noticed that the real estate business was nose diving, so a year ago, I actually got a gift of an Ankara bag and I saw that it was not too well made. So I, I looked at the details and I love bags. I buy bags a lot. I said, look, I can actually do something better than this. And then I went to work. I got a few boys together. We started. And um, whenever we come out with a product, I'll give it to somebody and say, look, can you just criticize this for me? For some people, it was a free gift time because I gave out a lot of bags. I couldn't sell when I started. And then two months into that, we got it almost right. And um, a lot of people were like, princess sells bags? I said, no, I make bags. And then I found people bringing bags for me to cover. I said, no, we don't cover bags. We make from the scratch. Initially, I started with handbags. Everybody liked them. I work mostly with Ankara, but must be an Ankara that has a theme. I started my business with my scarves. And then my mother gave me 36 pieces of prints. Some were Hollandies, some were high target. She gave me, she just bombarded me with fabrics when she saw what I was doing. And then, you know, in those days, there was the Okunawa Damask, which was the vintage. So the very first few ones I did was from the turquoise damask my mom used at my brother's wedding. And those who know, you know, what the Okunawa Damask is all about, we just wanted more and more and more. So I said, you know what? You give me damask, the old ones, not this china. I'll give you a vintage bag. So I started. And then I did the very first backpack in Damask, which my son carries to school. If people like the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, carries my label, the First Lady in Lagos State, Mrs. Dame Bimbola Fashola, carries my label, it only goes to show that it's not only for the rich. It's a one-stop shop. And up till now, we have products that are 3,000 naira. The phone cases. I have sling bags for young girls that are between 8,000 and 10,000. So there's something for everybody. It's not just for the rich. The only challenge I had in the cost of production initially was um, okay, am I going to leave them plain? Am I going to kill them like the Chanel design? So initially we started with the plain bags. They were not kilted. So after a while I said, okay, you know what? Let me carve a niche for this product. Let's just go kilted. So ever since then, the trademark of the Potter signature is the kilted. People do ask me, can you train? I said, I can't train. That's the only snag in my business. I can't train because, one, the secret to my business, I know it. I was at an exhibition and um, a young lady who also does bags came to me and said, your bags are very solid, they're structured bags. 
how do you do it? I said, that's my trade secret. I give glory to God when they look at my products. They say to me, do you produce abroad? I said, no, we produce in Nigeria. And I buy my accessories from Moshe. Everything is locally sourced. Nothing is imported. We have everything right here. And I buy from here. I now traveled at some point. And um, when my luggages arrived, there were the regular black to me luggages. And I had to wear my glasses to look for my luggage. The Holy Spirit gave me an inspiration that why can't you just do a suitcase in Ankara? It will stand out. And then you don't need to look for it. So as soon as I arrived, went back to work, and I said to my guys, we're doing luggages. So I designed this is my hand luggage. And um, the set of suitcases here are my luggages on wheels. Then I traveled the following week and everybody saw my luggage coming out. Like, Where did you get this from? All I did was I gave them a product card. I got two orders. So I went back to Moshe and I looked for one of my boys. I said, I need those trolleys. So we started. When it's converted, it looks like a car. When it's standing, it looks like a luggage. And then this came. This was the first set I traveled with. And I tell you, I did four of these afterwards. Keep watching New Day on NTA2 Channel 5.